right, good morning everybody. Welcome to another round of Coffee and Questions. What's today's topic? We're gonna to talk about countersink drill bits, specifically, you know, the Irwin five piece. Um, it's a good price, it's a decent quality, but I do have a mixture of bits and I'm gonna show you here real quick some of them and we'll talk about them briefly for a minute. Now, one of the popular ones is the two-step. It's like this, I'll show you. Now what that does is it drills a hole and when you get down deep enough it goes ahead and it chamfers or it creates that countersink. That's what the second step here is for. These work okay. Um, I primarily will only use these on wood. I mean that's just my preference. Now there's another way when it comes to metal I mean that I do things. Now there's nothing wrong with this. People argue you can use these on metal too. I don't. I use these primarily on wood and it is a little bit faster if you've got a cordless drill you can just drill in at the same time create that countersink hole screw goes in it's hidden flush with you know the wood and bingo you're done now that's this kind of a bit now I've got some older ones I've had for a long time uh, here's another one works totally fine still old as time and it still works still holds a good edge it's made out of good quality steel and then, of course, I mean, I've got some of them from Irwin here. Now, and I've got some of these other small ones. These two are, one of these is from Irwin, the other's from another manufacturer. These work well too, okay? And these, uh, I think these are quarter inch shafts that are on these, and you can use these on metal, wood, both, because they're bimetal. Uh, you know, you can use them. I've got these, one's made by Irwin, the other is not. They work great, okay? So why do I stick with the Irwin? Because they're a good quality brand, they've lasted me a long time, they keep a sharp edge, and they're great countersink bits, especially on metal. Let me show you an example. Here's a railroad spike. Um, it was to make a coat hanger, but I wanted the holes countersunk. That way when the screw goes in, it sits just below, you know, the edge of the metal here. And there's a good shot here to show you. Okay, and it works great. As long as you go, like I said in other videos, you have your drill press set on a low speed. So I drill my hole, I call it the pilot hole, whatever you want. I just go ahead and I drill it all the way through. That's for the screw, so it's not really a pilot hole, I suppose. And then I use my countersink or my chamfer bit right here, and it creates that groove where the screw's hidden. Works great. So slow speed, good cutting oil, and take your time and keep a lot of fluid going over the, you know, that bit. Don't let the bit, the bit heat up because you'll ruin it. So. Those are just some tips on this. Okay, so the ones, the large one, this one, you know, made from Irwin, what are they made out of? They're made out of high-speed steel. Would I use them on stainless steel? No, I wouldn't. I would tell you if you're gonna do that, you wanna start looking towards tungsten carbide or something that's a much harder material because stainless is hard. You'll tear up these other bits you know, at a faster rate of speed. I'm not telling you you can't do them, but you'll ruin them faster. So go with something better, tungsten. What's the other thing I liked about these? Well, they got that five flute design which things uh, you know run smoother cuts a little bit cleaner I mean that's another plus but uh, it's just that I know Irwin products real well and I like them a big around is the shank it's a quarter inch it's got a black oxide finish on them now these Irwin's are good as far as I'm concerned for intermittent to maybe a little bit more kind of a use but if you're gonna use these like every day like you're in a machine shop or you're doing something where you're constantly using them spend the money get a much higher grade or get the highest quality grade that you can. Like I said, even if you're going the tungsten route, but I'm an intermittent user. I've had these for years. They're holding up well and the edge is still nice and sharp on them. Can you use them on wood? Yeah, but I always drill a pilot hole first before I use these. It's just it's so much easier to come down onto that pilot hole. Now you don't have to on a lot of wood like pine, dug fir, plywood, stuff like that. It's soft enough where you probably don't have to do that, but sometimes out of habit, I always drill pilot holes in wood before I use these. Um, the other thing I like is they come in a really nice plastic case so that when I'm done, it keeps it well organized. Drop it in my toolbox, doesn't take up a lot of room. I mean, so I like the case to be honest with you. It's just a nice added little touch. And I had somebody complain on these Irwin bits that said one of the negatives is you get lots and lots of chatter. 
Um, well, what I would tell you to do on the chatter is if you're using good cutting oil or a good oil, even if you're using motor oil, slow your speed, slow down. I found that when I slowed down, the chatter went away or pretty much went away. It's just a tip for you to try. What is the angle on these? Like right here, what's the, you know, the angle? It's 82 degrees, which is more than fine for most screws and things like that that you're gonna use. But to answer your question, yeah, it's 82 degrees. All right, folks, that's it on these, you know, these countersink bits. I would tell you, like Irwin, is just my choice. I'll leave you the link below. But, uh, you know, in the past videos, like I told you, when it comes to metal, when I'm using these, you know, I usually will always have, you know, hole drilled first, then I come with this and it creates that chamfer where, like I showed you on this. It's nice. It's got a nice finish to it, nice clean cut. Just take your time. Don't let your bit, bits heat up. Go slow speed, good cutting oil. I mean, that's just, uh, I know I keep pounding it into the ground. The reason why is most people, um, like in the comments, they'll misuse these bits and then they call them crap. Just like in a previous video uh, that I did when we were talking about, you know, I mean, how to use the Harbor Freight, you know, step drill bits. Okay, these aren't step drill bits. These are, I like to call them chamfer bits or countersink bits, but it's the same concept. I mean, you know, watch your speed, good cutting oil, and your technique is just to go slow. You know, you're not in a race here, so come down on it, drill a little bit, let it come up, put a little oil on it, let it cool down. You want to try to keep these cutting bits cool while you're creating these chamfers or while you're trying to drill. Well, that's just my overall advice, and they will last you a long time. Okay, I'm the Home Handyman. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you keep following me. Let me know what projects you want to see in the future. Instead of talking about products all the time, we'll do projects, okay? And we're going to start those again here shortly. So, you know, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you got a better bid out there, let me know. Otherwise, the link below will have what we're talking about, and I hope you take a look at them. And thank you very much. Bye-bye.